private schools scooped top positions in this year's KCP examination. The performance of most public schools dipping to a shadow of their former selves. Let's begin our broadcast with Ra Raquel Mwegai, who explores what is ailing the public school education system. Little is known of Ikombe Primary School in Nyata constituency, Machakos County. Their stellar performance taking giant private schools by surprise as it emerged best nationally in the KCPE examination. Despite that, the list of the top 10 schools nationally provides an unbalanced scale of the performance of public and private schools. Only two public schools secured a spot, Ikombe at position 1 and Kadigiri Boarding School in Meru at position 6. Their private counterparts taking the lion's share of slots at the top. But why the disparity in performance when the education system is the same? Public policy in itself has had a serious challenge. If for instance, you have a change in the system that requires that perhaps all your teachers need to be registered, they need to reach certain levels, you're discounting factors that account for particular performance, private schools are likely to respond faster. But for you to do the same in a public school system, look at the bureaucracy that is involved. Some of the teachers in private schools work extra hard because without that good performance they may not earn a living whereas in public schools some teachers do not commit themselves as they should because they at least they are guaranteed of a pay at the end of the day according to amos kaburu it is such public policy that has proved detrimental to the growth and development of public schools making decision making a preserve of education officials based at the education headquarters county education boards have no teeth in fact we are having most of them which have now expired which definitely not see their role in which they will play in terms of improving our school performance so what we need to do is to look at our public policy to strike a balance between too much centralization, what instructions are coming from Nairobi. Still, the high population in public schools following the introduction of free primary education has come with its own unique challenges for public primary schools. The number uh, of teachers in our school is 40 TSC teachers and we also have uh, 18 volunteer teachers. So when you look at the ratio, uh, we have a shortage of close to 60 teachers. At the moment, public primary schools have a deficit of at least 40,972 teachers, despite the Teachers' Service Commission having over 291,000 unemployed teachers on their register. The biggest challenge being inadequate funding to employ teachers. Kenya's education system might have had significant changes over the years, but according to education experts, it will take a better and improved partnership between the private and the public sector to impact those changes on the public system of education. Raquel Mugai for Citizen TV.